I don't think they even have things right or a big plan of how they want to do things, but it's going to affect their kids. It's going to affect their future. Some parents sharing their concerns tonight after a unanimous decision from the CCSD Board of Trustees to start the school year entirely online. Now, this came just weeks after trustees passed an initial plan that offered options of full time distance learning and splitting the week at home and at school. Well, thanks for joining us at 11, but now it's official. Clark County students will be only doing at home learning for the beginning of the school year. Thanks for being here. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Tonight's big decision came during an hours long special meeting between those trustees, Superintendent Jara, and other district leaders. And of course, it doesn't come without some challenges. 8 News Now reporter Orko Mana is here now to explain. Orko? Well, Denise and Brian, the Board of Trustees had a difficult task tonight, but say safety was the deciding factor for keeping kids at home. There are still concerns about parents finding childcare and students having enough, a strong enough curriculum, but the main focus tonight was on the actual technology. I don't think the, the school district is listening to us. Parents passionately voiced their anxiety over distance education. The Clark County School District Board of Trustees voting unanimously Tuesday for all students to begin the upcoming school year with at-home learning. But it's going to affect our kids. Laura Leon's daughter is a high school senior, but a previous brain injury makes online classes hard. Well, I'm really concerned that she's not going to do well this time and it's going to affect her because this is her most important year. I don't think they really have a plan. Sarah George's daughter has speech and development issues. She's worried the individual educational program for her kindergartner will be ineffective. Well, it's obviously not the same as her being in a classroom environment with the teachers for hours, you know, where they're teaching her how to advocate for herself. Many trustees also bringing up the issue of inequity when it comes to students with no Internet access. For those that don't are going to slip down a slippery slope that is very hard to come back from. The district says they're working with Cox Communications to give qualifying low-income families a discounted rate, and there's more to the plan. We are going to purchase hotspots as well. So we're going to do this both ways. We're going to try to get broadband connectivity uh, through cable connection and then do hotspots as well. The district says they're working with Cox Communications to give qualifying low income families a discounted rate and there's more to the plan. We don't have the Chromebooks. We don't have the Internet hookup, but we don't need to have people die and somebody's going to die. Still, parents are not confident with what comes next. I don't think they even have things right or a big plan of how they want to do things, but it's going to affect their kids. Trustees made two other key decisions tonight. First, they approved a hybrid teleworking model for staff for their professional development days. And second, the board also voted to have traditional year-long courses with school discretion for high schools, but semester-based courses for middle schools. The board will also receive updates every 30 days on COVID-19 trends in Nevada to guide any changes.